Hello, this is a short video on how to use joint origins to place joints on part of your components where there are no obvious edges to place joints. So for example, here I have those two components. I have my circuit board and my male pin header. And the problem arises because the male pin header has this little standoff here and I'm trying to join to the surface here. So if I pick a joint, I can place my joint here on the surface and I can obviously place it in the center here, but I need to have this origin to be offset from the surface by whatever this uh, podium here is. So I, I obviously could use uh, offsets for my joints and then and, and solve my problem, but especially if I have several of those pieces and I want to join them together, then I have to do this uh, move where I offset my joint for, for all of my components. So the solution here are joint origins. So if I cancel out of here and I go into my assembly joint origin, probably should also activate this component here first. So let me activate this component. So my joint origin is associated with this component and not with my master assembly. So I go into here, I click, click my joint origin, and then I hover over the surface here by clicking my control button. I can move my joint origin in the center here, and then I can offset it, and it has to be offset by 0 0.07 millimeters. This is from the measurement here, or I also actually can just click the surface here, and my, my joint origin will then be snapped to exactly the right offset here, and then I just say, okay, great. So now I have my joint origin, and I can use this joint origin to join to my other second component here. So then it's the, just the normal way. I click joint. And there's one little tricky part here because if my joint origin is inside a component here, well, I do my normal trick. I just hover close to the joint origin and then I click my left mouse button. And after some time, this menu pops up and I can then select this joint origin as my first joint and then my second joint uh, will be placed on the surface here. And again, by clicking control on my keyboard, I kind of fix my joint origin to the surface here. And then I can pick my lower point here on this cylinder, which Fusion is intelligent enough to identify. And I click OK. And then you can see now I have those two parts uh, perfectly made it together. And I have the, the right offset here. All right, so now if I go ahead and make a copy of this pin header, I right click, I say move copy, and I say create a copy. Now I can grab the thing here. Oop. Well, you should first uh, ground one of my components. So let me cancel out of here and click on here and say ground this component. Let's try this one more time. Move, copy. Click on here and it's still complaining because I still have my sub-assembly here as my active component. So cancel one more time and make this my active component. So hopefully now I will be in good shape here. Move, copy, copy, and make a second component here. One of the problems I'm facing in this case is that my joint origin has disappeared because it kind of got consumed the first time I used it. So one thing I could do, I could open this up and I could find my body here, my joint origins, and I can simply reactivate this joint origin and then I can use this origin to uh, copy here. So this is one way of doing it. Another way of doing it, if you kind of have a little bit of foresight, is let me just actually undo all of that by copying this headers here before uh, joining them, the joint origin will kind of be preserved. So move copy, create a copy, move it. And now I have two of my headers here with both of the joint origins visible. And then I can go again 
joint zoom into here click my joint origin and join one and do it one more time click my joint here and copy it over and now I should have perfectly joined components here so if this is helpful give it a like maybe even subscribe and goodbye